Seen a bunch of guys this year with that. First pitch outside, off we go from Knoxville as today's opener. He ropes one towards right, that's a base hit. Rolling all the way down into the corner, Sayer picks it up, Loperfito chugging for second, he's in without a throw. And Duke begins the game with Joey Loperfito's team leading 18th two base hit of the season. Several balls hard yesterday, and he hits one hard today, and deep to right, and gone. His team leading 16th long ball of the season, and boom, Duke with a quick two spot in the top of the first. You just said it, Shrek was, he's had a tremendous year, especially driving the ball out of the ballpark. Had a really good game yesterday, saw the ball well, and this one jumps on it middle, in, and he knew it right away. So the team can just flat out hit and compete with the best of them. So I expect a, a really good game today. Runs in that tournament. He strokes one towards left and drops it in front of Shrek for a leadoff base hit for Damon Dews. As I was saying, committed early, so told the, told the schools he wasn't playing football. Nichols, high throw, safe, and a run scores. That ball wasn't hit all that hard, and Erickson Nichols trying to hurry the throw, pulls Crabtree off the bag, and it's 2-1. to one. Yeah, you said it, it was not hit that hard. Tough play was going to be close at first anyway. Nichols comes in, you know, wasn't able to really get himself set, just kind of airmails it a little bit, so you're coming in. And a big run for... Shoots that one to right. Peter Matt backs up onto the track to make the catch. Deep counts, fight off good pitches. And that's, that's a point of emphasis for Alex Ogard. And it's not by coincidence. In the final to win the tournament. Hit fair, past Nichols, down the line and left. Alders racing for the plate. He is going to score the tying run. RBI double for McConnell is ninth of the year, and it's 2-2. It's the score with, with the speed that Dews has. Got him looking. A big strikeout for Fox. That's what I'm going to do. A little bit low on that 3-2 pitch from Brimmer. Didn't miss by a lot. And a leadoff walk. Mills now a 16, and he ropes one to right. This ball's hit deep. There you go. Home run number 17 for R.J. Shrek. His second two-run homer of this game, and it's 4-2 Duke. Start him off with a breaking ball. Went back to it. But just way too much play. And the way that R.J. Shrek has been swinging it. You oh, yeah. Works a walk. And that ball's blasted. Deep right. And there's a two-run home run for Chris Crabtree. Second two-run homer of the inning. Black Again. to right. Look out, Bus. 13th for Tyler Black. And the home run party in Knoxville continues. Call it home run derby, but I mean, can we finally say Tyler Black likes hitting? Sends it to left center field. Hamilton sees it bounce once, go up against the fence, and Loperfito is going to have a second double today. In his 19th of the year. 
Ball's shot to right center field, and Murray has his first hit of the regional. And he's going to have his first RBI of the regional as well as Loperfito scores, and it's 7-3 Duke. Trek right here. Uh, just off. Carefully, and not careful enough, it's going to bounce over that shorter fence and right for an automatic double. Now starting to get it. I mean, you understand how they won 12 in a row. They're running along the wall, Sayer. Then he comes in to make the catch. Get on. Piano to left says, here you go. And there it is. Lead off single. That's a liner into left center field. Rolling all the way to the fence. Can it score the catcher all the way from first? Piano headed to the plate. He will score. A head first slide for Hamilton with an RBI triple. It's seven to four. Well, on that going behind him. In on the hands, out to left, and Shrek right there. Up the middle and through. Base hit. Michael Rothenberg. On the ground, left side. Good base running by Rothenberg. Still able to advance, and then the throw by Dews down the line. Harris tried to slap on a tag, and the ball came out of his glove. Rothenberg scores. Nichols, deep left. Alders at the fence. Goodbye. Fourth of the year for Erickson Nichols. A two-run blast, and it's 10 to four Blue Devils. Four teams we have. Everybody hitting the ball well and out of the park, and that one eats up Tyler Black at second base, and he's gonna head for second, and with a head for a slide aggressively, Chase Cheek winds up at second base. This inning. Ball hit to left. Alders back at the fence. And it leaves the yard. Third homer of the year for Ethan Murray in the right-handed bat. It's a cleaner look and hits it out. On eight. Shrek. Is it a three-homer game for RJ Shrek? It is gone. A solo blast. A three homer game for the LA native RJ Shrek. Yeah, locked in. There you go. RJ Shrek is totally locked in. Peter Matt grounded a short. Dews throws in time, but Dukeson's nine batters to the plate. It certainly doesn't feel like it, but it is. Just the sixth, and the way that they dice, they... Ball squirms past Crabtree, and Piato is on. Dewey strokes it in the center field. The second hit today, second hit of the inning for the Raiders. They have late inning comebacks. And up the middle, base hit for Hamilton. They're going to put the brakes on the catcher, Piato, at third base. And that'll leave the bases loaded. Left oh, field. He might have got it. Back. Shrek leaping. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> R.J. Shrek. Might have just taken a grand slam away from Tyler Black. Two pitch to the pinch hitter, Cameron Roundtree. Strikeout ends the inning. Rothenberg. He ropes one out to center field that's going to drop in front of Hamilton. Michael Rothenberg's second hit today. Left field. Down in front of Alders. 
Throws coming to third to keep Rothenberg at second base. Passed. Anglin kicked into foul territory. Rothenberg races home. Down to second goes Pauly Crabtree to third. And it's 14 to 5. This game faces the loser of that game tomorrow. Cheek pulls it on the ground to first. Harris makes the toss to Hornsmeyer for the put out to win the inning. Hamilton ground ball towards short past the diving Ethan Murray. And a third hit in this game. He's going to try for two. How about that speed? A hustle from Hamilton is their future, and they want you a part of what, they're, what they've got. So That's going to drop in for a base hit for Roundtree, and that scores Quincy Hamilton. Pitches. Shrek keeps going into foul ground, and there he is to make the catch. To retire the side. Wright State picks up a run. Kid, you get a face top of the order. Ooh. And hits Loper Fido. Batting helmet. Looks to be. Well, a walk to Murray. He's over the plate. And. That's to right center. This ball hit deep, but it's going to stay in the park. And R.J. Shrek came, what, maybe about 15 feet short of his fourth home run of the game. A 1-2 pitch to Rothenberg. Tabling gets him. Nice inning of work for Logan Tabling. Keeping Duke off the board in the ninth with a couple of strikeouts. Last chance for right center. Beato sends it towards right center field, and he's going to extend this game. Third hit today for Connor Piatto. May have been his final at bat for Wright State, but it's a double in his third hit today. Fly ball to left field, and it's R.J. Shrek back on the track. He's going to leap, oh, no. <laughs> and not? what a way to end the game. Why not? Shrek takes another one away. Duke wins it 14-6 and extends their season.